Meanwhile, the United States announced an additional $14 million to combat food insecurity on the continent at a time when malnutrition and famine are on the rise. Thousands of experts are also looking at solutions to this crisis in Rwanda at the biggest African forum on agriculture. Clément de Roma has more. African agriculture specialists gathered in Kigali to learn from recent crises and find solutions. Almost 10 years ago, African Union member states signed the Malabo Declaration aimed at reducing poverty and improving access to food by 2025. Around 50 countries committed to various objectives, including dedicating 10% of their budget to agriculture. However, this goal remains far from being achieved. According to the UN, this year at least 55 million people in West and Central Africa struggled to feed themselves. What we're seeing overall is that malnutrition rates are increasing exponentially. There's been some progress in the area of uh, improving breastfeeding, but all the other nutrition indicators were behind. So we need a seismic shift some new creativity, some innovation. The causes of malnutrition and famine include conflicts, like in Sudan, as well as climate change and rising food and fertilizer prices. In 2023, the DR Congo and Nigeria, Sudan and Ethiopia were ranked by the UN as among the countries most affected by food crisis. The Kigali Forum is exploring new ideas, such as crop diversification, grain processing, better management of agricultural budgets, and improving trade between African states.